We are live, pals. What's up, y'all? Welcome hey, to hey, Serving hey. Face in Hills number 22. Two, two, two. What's going That's crazy. on, my We're 22 friend? episodes in? That's crazy. I know. Sorry we've been gone for so long, guys, but you know life happens. And, life, and it's sorry. WrestleMania season. We're, it's WrestleMania we're season. We're busy. Kids. Busy. God, kids. kids. Sorry kids. about that. <laughs> I know you guys were okay. in, Yes, we were, okay. we were <laughs> excited to see each other the other day, but unfortunately, yes. children that we have. Life happens. Yes. Kids happen. <laughs> kids happen. <laughs> but, you know, we are here, and we are happy to see you all. Happy WrestleMania week. Friends. Absolutely, it's WrestleMania week, y'all. Woo, woo, woo. It's like our Super Bowl, you know. Um, I'm excited. I don't my know when this going. is airing. I'll be honest with y'all. So <laughs> I was at Monday Night Raw last night. It's yes. Tuesday. It's Tuesday. I don't for know us. it's airing. So whatever day it is, happy <laughs> Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, or Saturday. Um, yes. However, I was at Monday Night Raw, the Go Home Show last night. Um, I don't know about you, but I thought it was amazing, uh, at least from the live audience perspective. Yeah, you guys were on fire, fire yesterday. Yeah, the crowd was fi on fire. Phoenix especially. always shows up, which I appreciate. It. It's because we're in the <laughs> desert, so we got to get excited about something, you know? Yeah. You guys did great, though. Um, <laughs> and they gave you guys a good show, though. That's also a good thing. It was thing. a great show, so top that's to bottom. Also, I don't yeah. ever remember feeling bored, if you will, mm -hmm. or mm -hmm. uh, out of... Like, even by the third hour, yeah. I kind of felt a little bit during the Gunther match, but that's more because everyone was messaging me pictures and texting me and <laughs> my notifications and i was like trying to just preserve my battery right for right. jay uso <laughs> i was like stop texting me so i have enough battery to take a picture of this beautiful Fine man, man. No, exactly exactly <laughs> no but um no it was a great show top to bottom um on this show we're doing a little different today usually we go over all the shows that happened throughout the week last week right um but it's WrestleMania season, so we're actually going to uh, over what four days? Four days away, yeah. Four days from WrestleMania, or whatever yeah. day this airs, could be right before <laughs> WrestleMania. I don't know, but right now it's four days, but before WrestleMania, so obviously we're gonna do our predictions for all the women's matches. There are yeah. four women's matches on the card, y'all. We don't know what night is each one, four. so hopefully they'll do two and two. You know they should. I'm thinking two and two. Um. If they're smart. I'm assuming part of this has to has to be decided based on the main event of night one, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. which I feel right now is leaning towards KO Sammy versus the Usos. Mm -hmm. They literally have WrestleZania shirts. Um, just so cool. <laughs> and it just make uh, I mean, you know, you guys know we're huge advocates for women's wrestling, and obviously, I want them to main event as much as possible. But I'm also a realist in yeah. the sense of. To me, you got to earn it. You, you got to earn it. In WrestleMania 35, Kofi Mania, Kofi Mania was very, very close yes. to overtaking those ladies as far as investment goes. Mm -hmm, and then they mm -hmm. had to kick it up a notch the last couple weeks right, to get people right. reinvested in it. Because it was a very long build mm -hmm. from the time Becky picked Ronda to actually making it to the main event. It was yeah. a very, that was between January and April. They had to keep that hot. That moment and it, hot. And it, and it yes. died. And, and it, it died. died. Yep. It was bad booking and in, in, in for like a month straight yeah and then they kicked it up a notch they had that amazing go home Towards segment the, yeah. mm -hmm. uh becky and Rhonda had the social media buzz fight yep. one so they really kicked it up a notch and regained that interest which got them the main event wasn't um, their last the last time that the the last thing that they had was when they all got arrested right and they yep, all got that was the, that, the that big <laughs> brawl and they all got arrested <laughs> and taken away in cop cars and uh, Charlotte, and Charlotte hit, Ronda with the knee. The yep. mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Uh, one of the best, I think for me, one of the best backstage segments I've ever seen. Uh, mm -hmm. I thought that it was just done very well. Um, but it earned them, it helped get that interest back and earn them the main event spot of WrestleMania yes. 35. Um, you had Char uh, Charlotte, excuse me, you had Sasha and Bianca. Bianca. Yes. Uh, the first time we had done a two night mania event yes and yes. so they had the, the opportunity one, yep. to be COVID. a main event on night one and i think that they the build sucked but i have to blame part of that on it was covid era it was the first yeah. mania post -COVID, covid era yeah. or pandemic quarantine whatever yeah. you want to call it um <laughs> and then we had minimal fans there we still had minimal fans, fans. so it was raining I, I, it was um, raining. 
they, that so got I delayed. Do feel they too. were limited, if you will, on some things. The build could have been better, but I do yeah. believe that Bianca and Sasha earned that main event. Yes. Uh, it was historic. I think mm-hmm. they did an amazing job. Obviously, the match was incredible, and yes. I, all the emotions were flowing. Mm-hmm. Um, and last year we had two men matches main event. You had Brock and, yeah. and uh, Roman, Roman, and you yeah. had KO and Stone Cold. Um, yes, 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 that is correct. I just thought it was Texas. super cool that Stone Cold was a uh, main event <laughs> <laughs> uh, in 2022. But I mean, and it, and it delivered. Uh, they did great. Right. I and it was a great build. It was fun. Mm-hmm. Um, so obviously, there's been some news of some politicking going on from Cough Cough Ric Flair. <laughs> um, to get his daughter to main event this year, um, but I, I don't think that I just that that match should not. Sorry, the, the the build for both women's matches have not been very well put this year. So that's um, what we're going to talk about today. Is kind of give our predictions, but also talk about the builds to these matches because, um, the the what I'd like to see from the women's division. I'm very excited to have four women's matches on the Mania card. Just yes. put that out there. Mm-hmm. You can't just put matches on the Mania card and be like, okay, check the box. We want <laughs> the, you can't go from Bianca versus Becky last year mm-hmm. in an incredible story, an incredible build, an incredible feud, an incredible match. Mm-hmm. Someone put time and investment into that. Mm-hmm. Those ladies put time and investment into that. Um, to me, it should have main evented, but I was also fine with KO and Stone Cold. I thought I thought where Bianca and Becky, Becky in the being on the card actually was perfect. Well, I would say that I think they were in a perfect spot to be they honest. They were in the perfect um, spot. The crowd was absolutely hot. They were on yes. their feet. They were on the edge of their seat. Like yes, yes, it, yes. it doesn't matter. Yep. Um, so people saying that they should main event this year just because they didn't last year. That's not how this should work, guys. No. I'm sorry. Like I no. get men have been main eventing for years just because. But you have to but, look at the stories of what's been yeah. told and how the build have been going. And, Correct. And that's and, not all on the women, obviously. Yes. We, we know yep. that. We know that the creative and the writing and the promos and the builds mm-hmm. are, are on the writing team and the booking. We, we get that. Yep. But none of these women matches have been built the way I feel like they should have. Um, obviously, we had some changes from reports. Um saying it was supposed to be Ronda versus Rhea and Charlotte versus Bianca. I think those probably would have been built way better. Yes. Um, if they picked or the even dish- if it was Rhea versus Bianca, obviously. Yes. Like there's yes. a lot of different ways we could have went here. Um I don't but know they why. Just, they just we went this direction. I, <laughs> I, I, they're I don't. trying to make they're trying to write some wrongs that, that that happened, but I mean people have forgotten about all those things and what we want is great stories to be told and good matches. Now, will there be a good match? Probably so. Absolutely. But the Oscar versus Bianca be- will probably I, I'm guessing will probably steal the night. If you Whichever watch Monday Night, night Raw Go Home Show, those yes. vignettes videos that they mm. did, one for Oscar, one for Bianca, I think did more for their build than anything, anything else they've else. done over the last four weeks. Correct. They basically Correct. said she's a badass, she's a badass, they're Let's having a match, and I was like, <laughs> "Ah, shit!" Like you know, yeah. like I, I, I got excited because I'm like, "God, they, these are two of the best women in the world at pro wrestling, and they're Facts. having a match." Yeah, I wish I gave more shit, but it's gonna be good, so I'm still excited for it. But you know what? You can guarantee that they'll look phenomenal. Absolutely. You know that they're gonna look phenomenal, and they're going to give us something good. Yes, yes, the, the the mat the build up is lackluster um yep. but you know that they're going to give us those two things hopefully um like it feels lazy that, right it feels very lazy i feel like they put all their eggs in one basket with the men and then forgot like the women were just like an afterthought and i feel bad Absolutely. because i wish there were more women behind them to advocate to push for this build you know like we're, we're on tv at like a certain amount of time out of a three hour or two hour show and we're yeah. not getting that much of a build, if that makes sense. I'm like, you have to utilize the time that they have. And like, you have Charlotte doing promos with Dominic Mysterio. Like, I get Dominic's with Rhea. I understand. Give that time but to I, Rhea. Yep. 
Yeah. Like, I, I, there's no point. There's no reason why Dom, and he's had several segments with Charlotte or mm-hmm. moments. And I'm mm-hmm. like, mm-hmm. is this Dominic for Charlotte? No. <laughs> like, I, and he has I his just, own feud that he's dealing with his own with his dad. So it's like, how is he uh, like? What I just, think the whole point is they're just... trying to show him as a menace, and I get that. <laughs> but again, I just let's let's talk about Charlotte and Rhea first of all. Yes. Okay. Let's go. What is your prediction for this match? I don't think it's going to end up main eventing. Um, I definitely don't think it will main event. Um, I maybe... think it will be on. This should open night two. Um, okay. Possibly. I, I... I, I I um I didn't even think about actually night two for opening, but I wouldn't be mad at that to be honest. Um, uh, I was gonna say middle ish, but I can do I can definitely do an opener for that one. That's that's fine. I can do an opener for for night two. Definitely. Who's gonna win? I would hope Rhea would win. Rhea better win, <laughs> and this has nothing to do. Like everyone, every time I'm like. Rooting for someone against Charlotte's because ah, oh, you hate Charlotte. Look, first of all, I no, I don't know how I feel about Charlotte. All right, <laughs> I don't hate her. Okay, <laughs> I boo her character because she's she's booable. All right, booable. but <laughs> I don't know the woman. I don't hate her. Um, but this has nothing to do with any of that. I Rhea feel like is mm-hmm. old redemption. That's mm-hmm. what this should be about. However, yeah. this whole build. It's throwing me off. Like I'm kind of feeling like Rhea's not going to win. Like she but, should. Right. But they have not. When you have someone as a strong character like Charlotte Flair, who I guess is supposed to be face. Right, which and is you not have really a, good because she's supposed to be a she's supposed to be a heel. She's better as a heel, but whatever. Well, and it keeps coming out, right? Like yeah. last week's Black SmackDown's promo, even though I think it was more towards the what chance she was getting. Yeah, she came off very heelish, and I'm like, mm-hmm. you gotta, re- you can't, you can't respond to that. Like, you yeah. know what I mean? Hills respond to that. Yeah, faces, well, faces typically don't get what chance, um, <laughs> which is the problem, uh, because they were wedding her. So, yes. yeah, and um, when I you have a strong like- character like her, you still have to find a way to keep to to make her vulnerable, yes. to make Rhea seem like she's a complete badass, and that she could actually beat the 14 time women's champion mm-hmm. have they done that not really the only segment that was good was when they brawled out and i'm like you have all these different men's matches where they haven't even touched hardly right, right. going into Why mania we... and you can't right. figure out how to do that with the women yeah with good promos like like why not all of ria's promos sound very baby face all of yeah. Charlotte's promos have sounded very hill yeah. Except she goes, I respect Rhea. That's maybe a little different. But right, I'm just right. like, if it were me, I would have had Rhea decimate Charlotte when after she picked her. The mm-hmm. first time she went to SmackDown, I would have had her just lay, like, flat, lay her out. Lay her out. Completely lay her out, blindsided. Mm-hmm. And then Charlotte would have been like, what the? Yeah. Whoa. Right? Mm-hmm. mm-hmm. And then have her say, I've beat you before, you know, the next next week, whatever. I've beat you before, you know, you just blindsided me, whatever. Have Rhea come out, not scared or anything, because mm-hmm. they did do a face to face, but then Dominic stepped in front of her. And I'm like, what? What? No. Like if it were me, just have Rhea literally step to her face and not move yeah. Yeah. and have Charlotte take one step back. Mm-hmm. Something mm-hmm. that simple, right? Like that still keeps I, Charlotte dominant, but shows like she's try- she's seeing that Rhea's not going to back down. Do you know what I mean? I, I to be honest, I feel like ever since Charlotte has come back, something is missing, and I don't know what it is. Um, it's her it's her heel persona. They're trying to the, uh, not that she's a baby face by any means because she's not. They're trying to make her the good guy. I'll say that. Because Rhea is such a good bad guy right now, bad yes. gal. Um, <laughs> right, you have to say gal. So a lot of people yeah. don't want to see Rhea face again. However, a lot of people want her to get her redemption. So it's right. like Charlotte is learning how to tread the line of being the good guy while also being dominant. While all, but every good guy has to have some vulnerability. Yes, yes. And 
they just have had a very confusing time. I think they're confusing the audience yeah, with what yeah. story they're trying to tell here. Right. I think it's Rhea's better than she was before. <laughs> well, but not Rhea really just, because she right. looks back and she's more cock. I, I don't I don't know. Remember also, you know, Rhea had just got came up from like NXT, so she was like still fairly like she's young. And you know, she's very, still and she's 27, 28. Yeah. At that. She's a baby. She's a baby, yeah. So, you know, now she's like... Well. You know, I can say that. <laughs> um, she, but, she's, she's basically, you know, she's learned and, like, developed her character. Like, she's this badass. And, like, you know, with the dar- the mm-hmm. darker makeup, because she wore dark makeup before, but now it's even darker. The, bl- yep. the black lips, the, the tattoo on the face. Like, it's so much levels to what she has done now. Her look and hasn't, her look- like, hasn't, has, uh, I guess, glowed up, if you will. Right. Uh, her right. whole presence is it's, just good. It's an aura, yes. It's just a different and aura. That now. star aura that she has when she's over on Raw and Judgment Day. Remember, we were talking about she's the leader, she's yeah. the focus, mm-hmm. she's dominant. They were mm-hmm. building her. We thought we were they were building her for Bianca versus Rhea. Which would have made sense, but whatever. That's another story. That's a whole nother show, y'all. Um yeah. <laughs> but then I'm like. When she goes over to SmackDown and she's in the ring with Charlotte, it's not the same Rhea. And I don't quite get it. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Does that make sense? Yep. That aura and that presence is still not, it's not there. Yep. And it, again, it's not her. It's how they're booking her. Yep. Because now she's standing in the ring with Charlotte Flair. And I'm like, why? Like, I'm not convinced that Rhea can beat Charlotte. I'm picking Ooh. Rhea to win because but I feel not- like it makes the most sense. Mm-hmm. But storyline wise, as far as Rhea's redemption, which they're not really telling, but they're not convincing me that she can beat Charlotte. Mm. Maybe Charlotte is under, maybe the story is Charlotte's underestimating her because Charlotte is so confident. Remember, I think in Charlotte's promo last week, she said, I don't fear Rhea. I respect Rhea. I don't fear right. her. Right. Right. Maybe that's the story. They're under that's she's under story. others underestimating her. Right. Anyway. I agree. So uh, okay, so you think that we so we both pick Rhea and you think that they should open night two, correct? I think they should open night two. Uh, because I do believe the Usos versus Sami Zayn and KO will end up main eventing. Um what about our to other... me they've earned it. Yeah, I think so. I absolutely agree. Uh, um the, the stories the, are just so the stories. We're so invested in the Usos or the Bloodline, Sammy and KO as characters and people. Um, to me, that whole group has earned main eventing both nights. The support, Especially I if mean, the payoff is going to Sammy and KO winning those titles, dude. That, that arena is going to, is going is going to, to go flip. in Zane. In <laughs> Zane. <laughs> <laughs> I love it. Funny. Uh, so, yeah. So if for um, me, they, I'd put Rhea. If Rhea's winning, I would have Rhea and Charlotte open. If Rhea is not winning, I don't give a shit where they are on the card. <laughs> I don't. What do we say for our other match that has not been built up? So we have very Bianca well. versus Oscar. Bianca Belair versus Oscar. So as SP3 would call her, the uh, John Cena for the women's division. Very much. This so. will this will be a year. That she has had this belt. Um, if she makes it past Mania. If she makes it past Mania. Yes, she won it last year from. Uh, I from have many Becky. thoughts on this. Um, these are two of your best women's wrestlers in the world. Period. Um, I feel like they could probably even do more. Mm-hmm. They could. No, they, they could have done they more. Do. Yeah. I'm just talking about in the ring. I feel like you oh, know how WWE yes. sometimes limits things. I feel oh, like the they can they both can do, do more. Yes. Yeah, um, yes, but absolutely. they are still, regardless, two of the best pro wrestlers in the world. Um, so something I love, I'm going to bring up my favorite right now. I always love the way Becky and Asuka's builds were because Becky would put over Asuka in the build and make her seem like an absolute monster, whether that was in a promo mm-hmm. Whether mm-hmm, that was in mm-hmm. a segment, whatever it is, like she's Oscar doubting like if she can Becky, do this. Yes, yes. It, you, she would doubt if she could do this. Now I get mm-hmm. that Be- Becky and Bianca's characters are two different characters. I get that, 
Correct. Bianca's very confident. Mm -hmm. Um, she's the strongest, the quickest, the the fastest. She's the ESC. Um, and she hasn't been beat. She hasn't been beatable. Um, and aside from Becky beating her at SummerSlam, which the story being told is she was caught off guard. She right. thought Becky was a good guy. Remember, she was fangirling out when she heard her music, right? She was like, oh my, yeah, like she was excited. She's like, it's Becky, not knowing Becky was Hill and that she was going to use some horrible tactic to so, punch yep. her in the throat, <laughs> manhandle, slam her, and get her title. Yep. Um, but again, same thing with Charlotte. If you're going to be faced, you have to have some vulnerability. Now, mm-hmm. what they did do well here. When Asuka would spit the blue stuff or it just come out of her mouth, you did get the looks on Bianca's face like, what the fuck? Yeah, like, what's You're not, happening? I'm not like, dealing with my friend yeah. Asuka, right? <laughs> so you did see some doubt in her face. You did mm-hmm. see some confusion. However, what are we doing? Why are we doing the can we coexist? Why are we hugging? Why are we just dancing with the title in the ring? Like I don't, I'm I'm assuming they want to keep Oscar face ish, which is why she hasn't completely laid out Bianca, um, like from the start. But right. I feel like they could have done some fun pranks or tactics yeah. that Oscar was yeah. doing, like backstage, like to yeah. fuck with Bianca's mind, like like lock her, her like lock her in her room when she's supposed to come, like yeah. if she's supposed to come out, and then she can't come out to the ring, she's locked in the locker room, or like like pour blue mist on her. I don't know. Get creative. Like, do something There could have been like, so much, so many other things they could have done besides two weeks in a row having them stand in the ring, look at each other and mm-hmm. have Asuka come out and help her. I'm like, and then Bianca's messing with Chelsea. I'm like, what? What is that? Yeah. Uh, Chelsea yep. and Carmella. I'm like, I don't... She's what? fighting the wrong people. Yep, for sure. It just didn't make sense to me because I'm like, what is the WrestleMania food? Because you had Asuka and Bianca fully invested yeah. with Carmella yeah. and Chelsea. And I'm like, yeah. so are we going against Attack Carmella and Chelsea? It, yep. <laughs> it just, it didn't make sense. Um, You can keep Oscar face and still have her do it's some still, pranks and tactics and yeah. you know, some of that clownery, if you will. She's um, unpredictable. That's the whole point of Oscar. You want character. to mess with Bianca's mind. Like, why wasn't right. she doing that more? Why, or, Correct. why weren't they Correct. letting her do that? They could have mm-hmm. done some fun backstage segments. Like the lights flickering on and off, you know, blue paint running down the wall, Oscar's laugh coming out of nowhere, whatever, yep. right? Yeah, something they could have had be, so much, they could have just done creative, so many yes. other things. So, um, again, this was a uh, weird build, but I'm more excited for this match than the other one as far as quality goes. Don't get me wrong, Rhea and Charlotte have great chemistry. Mm-hmm. I'm only interested in how that one finishes, for being honest. Okay. Bianca and Asuka is harder for me to clock. So, my first thought was, Bianca ain't dropping that title. Yeah. This yeah. woman is doing all these appearances. They love her on these talk shows. They love her in the public. She's carrying she's this the title Cena. around. She's the she John looks Cena. like she's someone you it. want to represent your company yep. and just be this beaming light, right? She's very they likable. Said, they John said it in Cena. her promo. They said she has it. She is a star. From the moment you saw her, they knew that she was a star. And Correct. this star is carrying this belt. Correct. Now, not a, a lot of people are not liking it. And they're like, oh, it's getting a little, like, But that's not on her. That's on her stupid-ass booking. Th- there we go. That It can't be on her, but you, she is likable. And Since she... She won it at Mania. Yep. Name one good feud that she's had since Becky. They went into some random fucking whatever with Alexa Bliss and Oscar, and they were doing that for three months until Becky showed back up. Yeah. And then they did the Survivor Series match, which made sense. And then we went straight into Mania season. Mm hmm. I got nothing for you, friend. I'm sorry. I don't know if you was helping anyway, me to answer. <laughs> so that's the problem. People are saying so. her reign's been lackluster. It has. And it's not her fault. They're booking these women not very not very well in the Triple H era. People are going to be mad at me for saying that. Yep. 
Yeah, it is what it is. That. Um. So anyway, I think. Okay, so you have Bianca, who's like face of the company material. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Then you have Oscar, who they seem to be building back up with this new character, right? right. So I'm like, you have her lose at Mania again. <laughs> Oscar's lost at Mania twice, or once. Twice, twice? Her, her, twice. I think it's twice. Yeah. Uh, yeah. I don't know if you have new Oscar taken L. Right. I also right. don't see them having Bianca drop this thing because she is face of the company. Right. Okay. The good brand. Um. Can she still do that stuff with the t- without a title? Absolutely. Yes. No doubt. But if she's going to be on all these appearances, you want to be seen with that big with belt. belt that's a gigantic mm-hmm. W on it. So it's WWE. <laughs> so, oh, I don't know. Like, my thought process in who wins this has more to do with the outside stuff than it does the inside stuff. I would love to see Asuka become champion and yes. just defend it and be have awesome matches with people. Mm-hmm. I would love to see it. I just don't know. Some people have said Bianca has this new show with Montez, so maybe they want to focus more on that, so she's dropped the title. And then this build doesn't tell me anything. I, I Just like the Charlotte and Rhea one, I'm not convinced Rhea can beat Charlotte. I'm not the convinced only, Asuka can beat uh, um, Bianca. The only way I think that Asuka will win is if someone comes back, i.e. Alexa Bliss, and distracts. Or get DQ'd. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. That's the only way like, I would think. Would the Blue Mist DQ her? Could you imagine a DQ though at Mania? <laughs> People would boo the, 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 they would boo the, so the, bad. They would boo the roof off it, yes. Um, but the only way I see Asuka probably winning is if like Bianca is distracted by someone. And then the mist goes in her face and she loses. Other than that, I'm probably going to go with Bianca. I'm going to Jesus. It's hard. <laughs> I just don't see them having Bianca drop that title. Um, yeah, that's that. Not yet, at least. Maybe summer. And I also don't yeah. see them giving Oscar an L. I'm sorry. Let me back up. Wait, Oscar's track record. I see her taking an L. Um, yeah. But she's supposed to be new clownery, Oscar. I'm going with Bianca. I think Bianca's going to win. I think she'll retain. I think she'll become the longest reigning Raw Women's Champion, beating Becky. Um, I think she'll continue to carry that brand. Okay. All right. So, our (sighs) next match. The women's tag. Let's do the women's four-way. What? The tag. (laughs) The women's tag four-way. Fatal four-way match? Who's in that match? Ronda and Shayna. Yes, I forgot. Natty and Shotzi. Chelsea and Sonya. And Liv and Raquel. Okay. WWE.com, or should say WWE's random tag team mix up. Okay. They threw some people together. That's going to be in the main show or the pre show? They said showcase. And I'm like, does that mean it's going to be before, maybe? (laughs) <laughs> it's also also they what said that, that with the with the with the, the Andre, with the Andre the Giant match. So like, wh- when did they show? Well, that's it? on like, SmackDown. Yeah, the Andre the Giant the Battle Royal is on SmackDown, but they do have the tag match for the men on Mania as well. The showcase. Okay. The showcase. Okay. I'm like, what so does then... showcase mean? Is that the pre match? Okay, so is that I see, pre-show? I, I see it being on night one. Um, yes. In the middle, flustered somewhere, somewhere in the middle. If it's not pre-show, it has if to be. If it's not pre-show, somewhere. it's going to be middle, middle. The women's will probably be night say one, maybe, men's night two. Yes, I would say maybe like fourth match. They're going to be put in the dead zone. They're going to definitely put in. The, it's going to. It's going to be a someone is going to be in front of them that was a banger, and then they're going to have this one. Sad to say, Absolutely. I'm sorry. It's, um, it's but I think going to be a... if Ronda and and. Uh, Shana. Uh, Shana, thank you. I'm, I don't know why I kept saying Shonda. <laughs> Shana. Shonda kept That's their tag team name. Shonda. Sh- right, Shonda. Make it a shirt. 
Make it a Put Shonda. It Shonda's. Hashtag Shonda. Hashtag Shonda's. Um, <laughs> I like that. Look at that. Um, creating brands for them. Um, but saying. if they don't win this, I don't know who, wh- what, what are we doing? Like, wh- wh- what, what are we doing? First of all, you're supposed to be booking Ronda. I don't Ronda think Raquel and Liver winning. Definitely not. Sh- and it's Natty and Shotzi is not, not winning. I'm thinking who would they want Becky and Leah to go against at uh, Backlash? Because that's the next one. I'm Easy. Thinking, it's a no-brainer. It has to be Ronda, Sheena. They want to get Ronda and Becky in the same goddamn ring so bad. Yeah. And they're like, if we're not doing the singles match... We can do a tag Let's match. Let's make it a tag match. Yep. Um, I think you're right. It has to be Ron and Shayna. The way they built these other teams, which they just put them like together. The last two you, weeks. Know they, you know they got uh, like the, the bingo machine, right? Okay, Natty. <laughs> Who's gonna go with Natty? Natty. Shotzi. Shotzi. Th- is, that's they, they just, call that's themselves how they, they call themselves shots through the heart. I'm like, stop it. Um <laughs> that's cute. It is very cute. I'm like, actually, I like it. Put it on the shirt. Um yeah. It's kind of, yeah, damn. Yeah, Shonda and Shots to the Heart. Um, <laughs> yeah, the rest, and, and then obviously Liv and Raquel are single stars. I don't think they're going to be a tag team. So, yeah. has to be Shonda, Shonda. See, I did too. <laughs> has to be Shana. <laughs> has to be Shana and Rhonda. Shonda, um, I love it. Oh my God. I'm you assuming have, you it have... leads to Shonda versus uh, Lita and Becky at Backlash. Yes. Uh, and we'll start that build maybe the uh, raw after mania i'm assuming so yeah. um we'll see you we don't, who know nobody knows. what do you think what do you think of the match i mean it hasn't really been a build because they've been qualifying literally till last night you know what i'm really <laughs> looking forward to i fucking love chelsea green i love this whole character I, it makes me happy she is so funny her, like her she cracked me great. up last night her look is great i love that she's always getting underneath um uh, Adam Pierce. Adam Pierce. I was about to say Adam Cole. Um, <laughs> I like how he's like uh, with her and Sonia. He's like, call yourself the complaint department. I'm like, oh yeah. my god, please <laughs> call yourself the complaint department. CD, put CD. on the shirt. Yeah. Yeah. Um, <laughs> I love it. But yeah, no, her character. I, I wish that they would give her more like shine and give her more stuff to do because that was the whole point of you bringing her because she showcased it outside of when she got here. Now that she's here, I feel like it's just like this thing that she just See, complains to me, every she day. She is though. She has a segment every week. That she is has true. On, on, every both, week. on both shows, actually. And she's about to be on Mania. Yeah. She just got back a, what, two months ago. That is true. And she's on the Mania card. That's like, true. look, I, I think I just love doing her. Great. Look, I want I want her outfit. Give it to me. I love the whole I would like outfit. her to wrestle more. Yes. But I love the character work. Because character yes. work gets you over. So like, whether me? it's Hello? heel or face, <laughs> it gets you over. And she's yeah. doing incredible character work. I love it. Her and Adam Pierce and her asking him if he's the manager every week yes. cracks can me I, the fuck up. Because it's me, like to the manager. Um, Adam's like, like I am the man- that's I am. me. Look, it's just like <laughs> I love it. I love it. She's like, can I speak to the manager? She's he's just like, really? Like it's I, I, I love it and I hope it continues for literally three years. Um yeah. however, um, you know, and I love seeing Sonya get a win. Sonya's gonna be in fucking mania. Like I just I love seeing that the women are getting some shine. Yeah. Again, wasn't the best build. They obviously threw some tag teams together. Um, you know they're I'm gonna get like to it. great costumes. Whoever's gonna design them, they're gonna have like court. They're oh, gonna yeah. like get matching outfits. They're gonna look great. I think um, so. So I'm excited for that. I'm excited for the looks, the makeup, the hair. All of it's gonna be spot on. I am. Um, so, I'm sorry if you saw, catch me yawning, y'all. I got home at like 11 last night from Phoenix. <laughs> um. No, but um. I'm looking forward to it. I think Shonda will win, and yes. I will build Shonda will Becky win. Versa, okay, so Shonda. from now on, their name is Shonda. Okay, we will not refer to them as anything else but Shonda. It is Shonda. Period. Shonda. Period. Um. Next and last. Next okay. and last. The one I'm looking most forward to. I about to say not because my these, favorites are in it. I about to say like, these literally are your, all my favorite your, people. Your people, like they they shout you out. They saw you. They see you. Like you were like a fan friend. Like. I love her. Your honorary member. member. <laughs> I love them all, to be honest with you. Like, they were all super sweet. Trish came what over and said hi to Dakota's me. Dakota's face. Oh, my goodness. That's not her. I don't know what this ring is. And look at Eos. She looks creepy. Right. Like, who did this? Look, Becky's render, this? amazing. Trish is amazing. Lita, yeah. uh, they made yeah. her look older with this render. Yeah, this, yeah like the, the, the cheeks. Bailey's and... amazing. Yeah. Dakota, did... they did something with her 
cheekbones. Chin, yeah, ch- like chin. she has no cheeks. And then Eo looks like Eo, but she also looks very creepy. So I don't know. Anyway, be better. Okay, looking sorry. Looking forward to <laughs> the six woman tag apologize. match. Becky and Eo had one last night. Can I let y'all know? Because I don't mm-hmm. know when they showed commercials and when they didn't. I can't tell from in the arena. Yeah, but they were yeah. all going off the whole time. Mm-hmm. Like they didn't stop. Like they were just flipping this way, rolling that mm-hmm. way. There were so many near like, falls. Yeah, it was such a good match. Such a good opener, actually. That was the first time I've seen EO look like EO since she's come to the main roster, if that makes any sense. Ooh. Okay, friend. Mm. Becky says in her mm. promo, EO's one of the best in the world, and then then goes on to show you why EO's the best in the world. Well, she said that, right? Mm-hmm. One of the best in the world. Um, Amazing industry. I want more. I hope they actually have singles for you uh, down mm-hmm. the line sometime. Mm-hmm. Anyway, so... Again, with the build. Lita and Trish should be doing a lot more than they are giving them. I'm not necessarily saying they need to have matches because I get they want to preserve that. They don't want them getting injured before Mania. I understand that. Why aren't they brawling out? Why aren't they having them cut? Trish can cut some scathing-ass promos if you let yeah. her. Yeah. Scathing. Have you ever seen Hill Trish? She is rude. Okay. But I think she's more no, given, she's I know it's been years. Now. Huh? I think because she's more face this time instead of heel. They're she kinda is. Like I'm just saying. It. She okay. knows how to cut a promo. Got and it. they did give her the mic when she um, challenged damage control at yeah. Mania. Yeah. But I'm like, Lita and Trish could be doing so much more in this feud, in this build. Um, and I feel like they're giving him very minimal. Um. Compared to say Becky or Be- uh, or uh, and Bailey, mm-hmm. which again I get they're they're the now I understand uh, you want to show them more, but um, right now it just seems like Trish and Lita are just kind of on the side. Does that make sense? Yep, I, I you're agree. gonna bring them back, bring them the fuck back, and let them be a forefront in this, right? Mm-hmm. Um, and then obviously damage control has gone back and forth. They've they didn't look dominant at first, and they looked very dominant. And now it's kind of like, now I win. Now sometimes I lose, and sometimes they win. Yeah, so they I lost know. last mm-hmm. night. Yeah, they lost last night. So I'm like, this is a go home show. So does that mean that they're going over at Mania? I, but you you can't do that to the legends, though, right? I don't know. It depends <laughs> on what story they're trying to tell. If they're trying to say. Because there obviously been rumors that Trish is going to turn Hill. Is is that it? Because they lost? Mm-hmm. And it'll just third Hill. Jesus. And Trish just kind of loses it. She just can, goes I mean, off. That could be a story people are like, too. it could be like, you know, oh. maybe Becky and uh, Lita come out raw after Mania and they're like, we haven't seen Trish since we lost. Hope you're okay. Mm. Like, maybe just have her go away. Do the backlash match with uh, Rhonda and Shayna. Mm-hmm. Probably lose to them. <laughs> unfortunately. <laughs> um, and then have Trish come back after that and be like, you're a loser, Becky. Mm. You you made my best friend lose her title. Right? Like, yeah. there's a way they can build this. There's so many I'm ways to do it, to be honest. Yeah. Say. So, we'll see. Obviously, especially if we are getting Trish till SummerSlam, which it seems to be reporting. They might just want to just kind of keep, like, preserve her, if that makes sense. Like, I, I don't overexpose good. her to everybody, right. uh, which is kind of maybe why she's on the back burner. Anyway. You know what? The build will be thought, better. I'm I excited. Would be, yeah. I thought it would be more so, okay, so Becky and Lita will win. However, Bailey is so off the nagger that she now wants – to have that fight where she will fight Trish via SummerSlam. Okay. That'd so cool maybe too. that would be the uh the if they if the team that does win, you know, that's how they prolong this whole storyline. I mean, like, you know, damage control is not looking good. Their track record is not very good since they've been back. And um they've supposed to have been causing havoc since they've come back. Uh but if you want to have long term stories we could have Triss go against Bailey. 
Um, I mean, yeah. Bailey has already fought Lita, right? Yep. So the next person oh, no, for she her. Hasn't. No, she has not fought. Oh, well, no, that was Becky and Becky Lita. Sorry. He fought Lita. And I think it. Bailey's dream match was fighting Lita, right? Yes. She wants to fight Lita. So then maybe that's how so we maybe hope. ever fight Lita. I don't, right. They have uh, many ways they can go with this. Mm -hmm. If they're sticking with these people together or however in some different mix, you do have to switch it up. So yes. maybe, again, maybe that's why they don't have Trish and Lita doing too much now. Because you don't want to overexpose people. You want people to give a shit, right? So mm -hmm. um, we'll see. Again, I'm excited for the match. I am obviously... Becky will be carrying a bit for her team. Um, of course. <laughs> but uh, I think it will be a lot of fun, to be honest. We have a lot of fun little matchups to have with Dakota and Lita and Dakota and Trish and mm -hmm. EO and Trish. EO, you know what I mean? Like, whatever. So I think it will be very good. Um, well, I do hope that Lita has been, like, practicing a little bit more because when they won the title, she was very, very rusty. Yes. Now, given she found out four hours before the show that she was that is also very true. So that made so much sense that like so you didn't oh, have a wow. chance to practice and do all the things like that they that normally you want to do. Yes, to exactly. Prep. So hopefully, yes, she's been. I think she has been training. She had been posting. Has she been training somewhere? Perfect. Um, so that's great. Where, but she has. Um, okay, so as that's far as who that. wins this, yeah. I actually think Bailey and Damage Control are going to win. Ooh. Okay. I am actually going to go with the, the champs that, that they're going to retain. All right. Okay. So, so you're going with Team Goat. I, I call him Team Goat. Team, team Goat, yes. <laughs> uh, yeah, I think Damage Control might actually pull pull a W here. Um, it might be an upset? What? I think so. So they've been looking like the weaker side in this feud. This one As actually has had somewhat of a build. Yeah. They've been looking weaker. They just lost at the Go Home show. So they if might you will, win. with EO taking an L. So I actually think they might get the W at Mania. I think they might be putting Bailey and them over. Okay. Okay. I could actually yeah, see that happening. It. Not mad so at all. We will see. We will okay. see. Okay. Um, so those are the four women matches. One moment. We found out. Um, Can you via... talk about the news real quick? I'll be right back. Sure. Uh, we found out via... Uh, People magazine and all over the internet that our newest inductee to the Hall of Fame will be uh, Stacy Keebler. Um, so Stacy Keebler has been uh, she was a what a former Nitro girl. Uh, she was on WCW. Then they came over and now she's with she was with WWF WWE. Uh, so she will be our newest inductee to the Hall of Fame. So we needed a woman to be in the Hall of Fame. And um, she was the latest woman to pick. Um, so she joins the class of 2023, uh, which is Andy Kaufman, Rey Mysterio, and... Damn, what's the other person? I can't remember. I have to ask Stephanie when she comes back. But, um, or you could just cut it out. Um, but yes, so she'll be the newest inductee into the Hall of Fame. Uh, great work. Um, they did show a video package of her on raw which was pretty cool i wish they would give her more you know more credit because instead of just being like a valet or just coming in the ring looking cute like she did have feuds with lita and trish and victoria like she did have uh, like definitely like lots of feuds with uh women so um yeah so that's the news uh with our hall of fame which is going to be friday after smackdown um, so that's exciting for her. I wonder if we're going to have one more person. But so far, we have a small class this year. Um, and we're excited to see it, I guess, you know. Um, in other news, uh, the Bella Twins, now known as the Garcia Twins, um, have dropped their names. Um, not sure how to feel about this, to be honest. Because... I feel like for women that have been given mostly everything that they have accomplished, like everything they've done, they've gotten done. Like they did everything. They've had every belt. They've done everything. They've won everything. Did they want to tag titles? No, they never got those. 
But for these women that has been on this platform and has been given majority of the thing because of their, their status of being a Bella, um, always seems to complain about something, I feel like. They complain when things, I guess, don't go their way, if that makes sense. Me personally, I was never really a Bella fan. Um, I kind of really liked them when they had Alicia Fox. I feel like Alicia Fox was more of the entertainment for the group or whatever. And then she was the one that was like mostly getting all the L's because she was with them. But um, for them, they was on Total Divas. They, then they had Total Bellas. They had all these shows, uh, you know, about them and, you know, their notoriety. And then, you know, they go and they somewhat complain. Um, and they're always complaining about something. So now they have let go of their name. And now they are now known as the Garcia. I'm not sure how or why that happened. Maybe Steph can give us more insight. But um, I feel like they always have some type of complaint when things don't go their way. They were inducted to the Hall of Fame last year. Like, like for goodness sakes, like you should be happy or something, you know, like you have been given everything and now all of a sudden you just don't have anything but complaints. Like you guys have been given wins on wins on wins. You have no L's. So now, you know, things not not really going your way. It's like, okay, whatever. Um, but, um, you know, they made it known a few weeks ago on, uh, I believe like it was IG and Twitter that they're now going as the Garcia twins. Um, but I mean, these are married ladies and they said they have no, uh, way of going to AEW. They have no time for that. They, that's not even thinking they don't want to wrestle. Um, so, you know, that's not in their future. They don't want to do those things. They want to just do more things with their brands or whatever. So I guess maybe they need to do more with their brands than, uh, by removing the name Bella. I mean, they were very limited, um, cause I guess you got to get sign off. And, you know, they, that is owned by WWE. So, um, yeah. I was just saying, talking about the Garcia twins. Friend. Ah, yes. Oh, my gosh. Yes, that was kind of shocking. I, I was just saying, me personally, um, can't discredit their stuff. But for people that was always given something, have a lot to complain about. Um, I <laughs> I had tweeted something. I deleted it because I don't fight dealing people's drama. Okay. Um, and this isn't actually about the Bella Twins. This is more about people who leave WWE. And, and then they're like, we were prisoners. And I'm like, what? No, never. Not never. First of all, you decided to sign a contract with WWE. Mm-hmm. That have all the terms and conditions on said contract. Now, yes, if you weren't booked the way you like, whatever, you have then be upset. If you weren't used the way you'd like to, be upset. But you cannot be like, oh, I'm a prisoner. I'm breaking out of prison. And I'm like, I get that WWE has their limitations. They have their things, right? I, you know, when Vince was there, you couldn't say wrestler and you couldn't say belt like stupid little shit like that right i understand that but it also came with wwe's terms and conditions yeah. um now given a lot of that's changed since triple h has taken over as far as what you right. can and can't say but and we've seen that in promos and all the shows uh but yeah. i think it was sarath have retweeted them saying i can't wait to see what you guys can do with the shackles off and i'm like what? Are they fucking slaves? I, what? See what pisses like, me maybe off. Maybe that I, I took his tweet as he he should have worded it better. Mm -hmm. I think what he was trying to say is, I'm looking forward to see what you can do outside of WWE's bubble. At the same time, the Bellas have done a lot in the WWE bubble on their own. Like they had their own show. They're they doing bar again, which WWE promote. How often we talk about this all the time? Oh, WWE sucks at promoting their talent stuff. They never promote Sasha's shit. They never. They hardly ever promote Becky's shit. Like, but they promote the shit 
Out of the Bellas. Out of the Bellas stuff. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Armageddon, uh, Total Bellas, whatever else they do. Total Divas, that when, when one of them was on Dance Total with the Divas. Stars, when the other one Dance they with the like, Stars, they when they were in um, that one dude, I, forgot, I can't think of his name right now, the singer. They were in his video, his music video. Mm, I don't they remember that. that. Yes. Uh, Trey Songs. They're yes, in his music yes, video. Yes, yes, I'm yes, just yes. like, now this company, number one, is the reason why you're popular in the first goddamn place. But number two, they promoted the shit out of all of your stuff. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Look, I, I think part of their issue, because remember they started talking bad after the Raw 30? Yes. And how a lot of the women legends weren't represented. I think most of us were also upset about that. Yes, absolutely. So I understand. But at also, the same time, I'm mm-hmm. like, shackles off? Ex- what? For a lot of people, to me, I'm like, that's what I respect about Sasha or Mercedes. Mm-hmm. She has kept her mouth shut. Yep. She is not bad mouth WWE in any way. Her and Trinity, yep. When she probably has a lot of good reasons to badmouth them. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. She says, I want to go live other dreams and do me. Yes. We know WWE didn't see Sasha or Mo- Mo- sorry, Mercedes <laughs> as the star. Right. She was a star in the company. Mm-hmm. She wasn't the star. Right. She wants to be the star. Mm-hmm. She also has other dreams she wants to accomplish. Mm-hmm, but she mm-hmm. is not in the interview yet. Been like, the shackles are off, y'all. <laughs> As confident and um, poised as Mercedes is, she also knows she loves WWE. She also knows that is her home. She also knows they are the reason she is so popular. Right, right. Bailey knows that. Mm-hmm. Becky knows that. Charlotte knows that. Yep. So these people that go other companies or wherever, talking about shackles are off, doing prisoner breakout videos, <laughs> breaking chains. I'm like, I'm sorry. Were they whipping you and not paying you? Were you are you not? Making 100, 200, 300, 400, 500,000 dollars a year. Mm-hmm. Some of them upwards of a mi- The Bellas were probably in the millions. I the Bellas guess, definitely were, or in, at least definitely. close to they, it. They were Vince's favorites. Are you kidding me? What? I'm just like, I, it, it just, it, it, to me, it's a slap in the face. Definitely is. Um, I, I was also saying before you came in, I was like, now, granted, these are people that were handed things to them, but maybe they wanted to do things outside of that name where they couldn't use the name, so that's why they changed it. Now, they're and that's that fine, reason, and that's fine. But you cannot badmouth the company that has hand given you everything. I mean, everything. everything. And you guys weren't even that good of wrestlers. Everything. So, you're the reason you that. have so much exposure. Nobody would know, and actually, I can't say that because I can't say what we wouldn't know if, say, the Bellas didn't go to WWE. Right. It right. wouldn't be the Bellas, obviously. It wouldn't be the Bellas. But right. they, I, I, who knows, right? Correct. Yes. But I do feel like, I don't. I think that's why so many fans were upset because yeah. they felt like it's a slap in the face when you have been given a lot by WWE. Yes. Um, absolutely. I would like the Bellas or the Garcia twins to speak on it and say their piece mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. as to why they're so upset. Yeah. Soraya's kind of done it. Soraya, mm-hmm. whatever the fuck. Tony Soraya. Storm has done it. Yeah, They've all bout mouth WWE. And yeah. I'm like, you're only known the way you are because of WWE. Would you have gotten popular without them? Possibly. Yeah. But to the to that level... Would you know who Tony Storm is without WWE? Probably not. Probably not. Mm-mm. Not to this level. Not yeah. Not to. I mean, if, if we're gonna, would you watch. know who Kate Soraya, Soraya is? Would she still be in London? <laughs> I, I'm being serious though. Like you're right. You know, she you're was on the London right. indie circuit. Yep, you're right. 
she was good. So maybe eventually she would have gotten there. But I'm just like, don't bite the hand that has fed you. Yes, absolutely. I totally agree. Don't burn your bridges. Now, WWE is a business. So as we've seen, even with Cody, Cody's Mm -hmm. talk all sorts of shit. Yeah. Yeah. Destroying thrones and shit. They welcomed him back. Yeah, yeah. He also had to eat shit, if you will, and be like... Eat crow, yep. (laughs) You know? I have to be honest. WWE is where I want it to be, right? Like, he Mm -hmm. had to do that in a promo. Right. So I'm just kind of like... Like, this was always the end goal for him. Right, right. He wanted to make a name for himself and prove himself Mm -hmm, so he could mm -hmm. come back to WWE and say, I told you I was a star, right? Yeah. That's all it was. And... I don't know. I just find it disrespectful. Buddy Murphy did it, or whatever yeah. they're calling him. You know who didn't do it? Alistair Black. Yes. Malachi Mal- Black. Malachi never Black, yeah. has never bad mouthed WWE. Nope. He was like, I wanted to leave. Uh, Cesaro, Claudio, never bad mouthed WWE. Nope. Miro. Brian. Dan- I was about to say Brian Daniel. Um, Danielson didn't do it. Brian either. Danielson. Miro didn't. Even Miro. Do it. Yeah. Yep. Um, so it just to me, I'm like, you're two faced when you do stuff like that. Yep, for me. Oh, they've I I've do always lose the I've for always, people who do that. I've, I've always felt like they were like that way, like, there's nothing I feel like nothing really genuine about them. And, and I, again, the Bella people could come after me, I really don't care. Um, I'm not like I said, I was never a stand for them. I like them when, when Alicia, I love the Bellas. Them. I actually, it was funny, I actually packed my Bella shirt. For Mania, and then they announced that, and I'm like, maybe I shouldn't bring that. <laughs> maybe I shouldn't bring that. Not for Mania itself, but for Mania yeah. Week. Yeah, yeah. Because um, yeah. I figured they'd be doing some appearances, but never mind. Um, yep. um so, I talked about um, to, uh, Stacy Keebler. Yes. So you can say you you can say that you can say what you want real quick about her. I talked about uh, her. So being... Stacy, first of all, I'm very happy about that. Um. Just real quick fun fact. So uh, Stacey was one of my favorites growing up. Mm. For the only reason of I thought she was beautiful mm-hmm. and she had these really long legs. And I was mm-hmm. like determined. I was like, you know what? I'm going to grow up, be that tall <laughs> and have legs just like that. <laughs> my ass ended up being 5'1 and curvy. <laughs> my legs are so short. Uh, so that did not happen. Mm-hmm. However, I am happy for her. I will be there live to watch her get inducted. Nice. I wonder who do you think's gonna induct her? Oh, that's a good question. Maybe Trish. I'm like, I feel like that's one of the ladies, right? Yeah. I don't know. Maybe I'm excited. Um, but she's in there with Ray Mysterio. I couldn't remember the 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 Ray one Muda, the Ray there Mysterio. There we go. Ray Muda. That's the one I missed. And yep. one, oh, I forgot the guy's name, the comedian oh, um, guy. Yep. Andy Andy Kaufman. Yes, thank you. I'm like, yes. oh my gosh. So it, it's a smaller Hall of Fame class. I really thought it was, Batista was going to headline this. I think I think it's because Hollywood. of the schedule. Uh, yeah, I think he's, he's doing a movie and he can't get down here in time. Um, That's the only reason why they didn't give it to him this year. But he was in talks. And I think he's still filming. And he they might they, do it, it at 40 then. Right. I believe it, it might because it's, it's scheduling the, the time. Because it, they would have done it, but he wouldn't have been able to be here to be inducted. And you know, That makes sense. He would want to be here in person. Like he doesn't want to do a video package. Like he wants to be seen. You know, you you, you would want Absolutely. you to do this. In I get person. it. Yeah. I get it. No, I get it. Um, um but next in news. Yeah. <laughs> Did you already talk about Trin? No, I have not talked about Trin yet. No. So Trin, as we know, I think most of us kind of assumed she was no longer with yes. WWE. Yes. Um, with her changing her name and her acts and all those things. Yes. Um but she did basically confirm uh, in yeah, a random answer, comment. Yeah, she answered person in a comment. <laughs> on like, Instagram, hey. someone asked her, like, hey, girl, like, are you even still with WWE? And she said, no, friend. I was like, she got it. So, she, must, uh, she, know, she must know that I love to say friend. I was like, yeah, that's that's." She said, girl. no, friend. Uh, so, yeah. So, she basically so she's confirmed, confirmed she's no longer with this, WWE. And this is the first time, like, she's really even spoken out. Like, again, another person that has not said or anything about this another company. Thing? And I'm sure she, there's been plenty of times she's wanted to probably pop off on people about things, but her and Mercedes have kept everything private to themselves. 
they're yeah. doing their thing professional mm -hmm. um i think someone said that she or it was reported that she filed for a um oh lord what's it called trademark mm -hmm. trademark on yes, trinity MMA. trinity glow yes yes i believe it was yes um so a lot of people were thinking that might be her new uh ring name yes if she shows up somewhere else where would you like to see her show up though if it's not wwe um she could, I would, be, she could really light a fire under aew i think i will say i think she would definitely be great with aew um she could like definitely she like elevate their team that 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 women's division over there she's she's very charismatic so i, I would yes. like to see that happen um <laughs> But yes, Mercedes, um, not so much. No, now Mercedes might do Forbidden Door with New Japan, but mm -hmm. the stardom. But I don't want to see her. In she's AEW. gonna Mercedes but is not, gonna do the Cody effect. You know, she's gonna go to all these different places, make her name big, and then go back home. Bigger. That's what she's gonna do. Bigger. Thank you. And go gonna, see. I should have been your star. Correct. Exactly. Not Flair. Just kidding. She's definitely. Uh, I think it's, to me. I think she. I think that. There could be a Ronda problem. I feel like she, yeah, she felt like she has were... a problem with them putting Ronda over a lot of other women, including Correct. herself. Do you know what I mean? Correct. Yes. So, uh, and given uh -oh. I haven't heard her oh, say baby. this, I'm just making some assumptions. I know he's <laughs> out there with his dad. I don't oh. know exactly what's going on. Poor what's thing. going on, baby? Might need to wrap this up, y'all. Yes, yeah, we we only got one more thing to talk about. All um, right. Last but not least, we're going to talk about um, Mickey James is injured now. Mickey, J so and Carmella, and so Carmella. I don't know Carmella's injured. I seen on Will. She Fortune just randomly night. stopped <laughs> being in the storyline with Chelsea Green, which I I actually loved the Them little tag team they had going. Yes, yes. yes. And they then she was just gone together. Yes. Um, the but people online are speculating. Someone, it's, they're like speculating. That she got taken off because she was supporting the Bellas after they announced that they're the Garcia mm. twins. And I'm like, that doesn't make sense because Natty did too, and Natty's on TV. Natty's in Mania. I was so saying, I'm like, yeah, Natty is one of their friends. She was on like Brie, the the show where Brie was getting married. So well, and Natty literally retweeted saying, "I'm so excited for you guys. Can't wait to see what you do next." She did and Carmella basically said the same thing. Yeah. Uh, so I'm like. I don't See them they're all I think they're all taking like, her out because of correct, that. That doesn't correct, make sense. That, if it was Vince, maybe I don't really see Triple H giving a shit about that. Like yeah, who you support yeah. outside, whatever. Um, so hopefully she's okay. Mm -hmm. Um, but uh now they have Sonya with Chelsea. So I guess stay tuned on Carmella, but Mickey James is injured. Yes. Uh, and I believe she's are they making her give up the knockouts title? She can't, um, I, she can't go to the pay-per-view. Right. I think that's what... I, see, this is when we need SP. Um, but I don't know. We have to pencil that. I'm not sure. I don't know if they've announced anything yet. I don't think they, they have, really. She's injured. She can't perform at the pay-per-view. So I think... Though, and they did say Jordan Grace is having a match, though, or something. And I think that may determine who... Right. They the did. Title, we did talk about it on True Hill Heat. Um, is saying that you know you should kind of if Mickey James is not going to be performing, have De De um Parata take over because she was the one that was doing all the stuff for the women before, so True. you know she can definitely like take over that reign and role now since if, if you know she can't do anything, so yeah, I guess we'll see. But obviously, wishing uh Mickey a speedy recovery, yes, um, yes. and that's it, that's it for that's it. And obviously, hopefully, Carmela's okay. Carmella's and... okay. I think I think she's okay. Like again, I said this. Of course, this was pre-recorded, but you know, uh, Carmella, Xavier, and Drew were on Wheel of Fortune yesterday. And my mother-in-law called me in excitement, mm. like, "Oh, do you know these people or whatever on the TV?" They said they're from <laughs> wrestling. <laughs> You're all yes, I do. Yes, yes I do. We, I do know them. They're very popular. Um, fully aware. My, made me watch. <laughs> well, made me watch Wheel of Fortune. Um, right. <laughs> so yes, yeah, yeah, so works. I think I think they're fine. I mean, yeah, I mean. I'm sure the only thing I could think is like, are they trying to get her and Zelina back together as a tag team? I would, and you know, we haven't seen Zelina. Oh my god, yes. Zelina's been busy, like booked and busy. Yo, I'm Zelina's so happy. Been for out her. here doing these hosting award shows. Another, another She's in a video game, girl. 
another person well, that they is like a, a a star in the is in the making, and she's just been out here on these red carpets sh- uh, serving, serving, serving faces and serving hills. face in hills. Like yes. <laughs> she, she is doing everything. I'm so happy for her. Yes. So I'm so look. She and she's so multi talented. Like yes, yes. And yes. they actually let her wrestle the other week. I'm like mm-hmm, yes, girl. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. And she had a match. She. Let her wrestle more, please. She can Zelina, go. Zelina, she's little. I, I feel like she can go. I feel like she can be a great heel champion. Just saying. She's so her character. And she is and so she can fun. talk and she talks very well. Like she, she she's so good. So, she's give so Zelina good. A chance. And now they have Electra Lopez on main event. They had her versus mm. Dana last night on main event, which I think will air later this week. Mm-hmm. I'm assuming. Um, so. Electra's coming up. Is it possible she kicks Zelina out? Mm. Oh, Legato. Like, yes. She'll be on SmackDown. Interesting, friend. I like this inside information. Let's see where it's going. Where's it going? Okay, Where's it going? Okay. Um, but that is it for this week. Obviously, again, it's Mania Week. Yes. There's a lot going on. I'll be posting a lot of content. I get out there on Wednesday uh, of this week. Uh, I'll be posting a lot of content over the four or five days I'm there. Um, nice. I did. Uh, it sounds like I'm getting media credentials for some things. Oh, so I can't wait to see you, friend. That will be fun as well. Um, what? so, uh, yeah, I'm excited. I'm excited. Yeah, a lot of places, y'all. You might be sick I of can't me. Wait. By, no, I won't be <laughs> next send, week. Me, send me all the tea. I want to see it so we can put it on, put it on our page and everything so I can shout you out and retweet yeah. it. Okay, okay, great. I'm yeah. meeting the I have wrestling to live vicariously like through you. Oh, I'm actually you meeting meet? the wrestling club on oh. probably Friday, um, which I'm so excited about. I'm so excited Harry to meet Victor tomorrow. and the kids. <laughs> huh? I see him tomorrow at yes. the school. Um, I'm so excited but yes, to meet them. I'm excited. Oh, and you're going to meet our girl. She's going to be so, oh my gosh, she's going to be so excited to see you. What? I have a surprise for for the my 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 counterpart in a Becky Lynch fan yes. uh, oh my at, at, in the wrestling club. So um, I gave her, I'm excited to um, her in person. I gave her a Becky Lynch yellow hoodie uh-huh. and she's going to wear it. She said she was out. So she was like, oh, I want to wait to school. I was like, don't you want to save a man? She was like, you're right. So she's supposed <laughs> to wear it. I gave it to her for Christmas. <laughs> like, so she's, she's supposed like, to be right. She's, she's like, a little older than my daughter. So I was yeah. like, okay. I was like, I she's told Victor. Uh, she's so fun though. I love her. You know, Victor's, I know Victor, tell, he's just, she's wonderful. So mm-hmm, I, mm-hmm. um, She's amazing. I, I do her. have a surprise for her. Um, and hoping for someone to sign it. Ooh, oh my gosh, she would she would die. I've already talked to that person. Um and, and you know she watched the show, so she you can't like I don't know who I'm talking about, but um <laughs> she also has a very, very, very busy week coming. Mm-hmm. Uh so um we are gonna try and find some time to meet up. Um Aww. So I'm excited. Can I can't wait. FaceTime me when you guys are together. Hopefully I can see you guys. <laughs> <laughs> um, so yes. anyway, uh, thank you for joining Face and Hills episode 22. 22. Um, this was a short and sweet one, but we just wanted to cover Mania. That's short, though, because we was talking. <laughs> right? Uh, I'm, I'm, sure my I'm team excited like, for Mania. You? Yes. These women are going to show out. And yes. I'll wait. be there. I'll be have the loudest fun. one in the arena. Yes, have so much fun in media, girl. Um, so anyway, uh, follow me on uh, Twitter at Stephanie Hypes. Again, tons of content this week. Where can they find you, Miss Chrissy? You can find me um, again. I won't be at Mania, but I will be tweeting and watching live stream on the True Hill Heap uh, page. Um, so yes, you can find me on IG, Twitter, on Facebook is True Hill. Uh, excuse me. Twitter is True Hill Chrissy Love. Um, IG is Chrissy Love underscore one. And then it's just my plain old name, you know? Nice. Well, thank you, everybody. Happy Thanks, WrestleMania friends. week. Be safe out there if you're going to LA. And we'll yes. see you when we're back. Thank you. Join Bye. us again. Laters. <laughs>